All right, man, let's talk about the Raiders. The Raiders are having some offensive line issues. Obviously, the, the Chargers got one of the best pass rushes in the league, and Joey Bosa. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Thumbs up the video. Now, um, Joey Bosa basically said when Derek Carr get hit, Derek Carr get hit, he turns into a punk. I'm just paraphrasing. He didn't really say it like that. But the Raiders having pass blocking issues. If you see Monday Night Football, seeing the stats, they're having pass blocking issues. So, obviously, we got one of the, one of the better pass blocking left tackles in the league. Why not trade Taylor Decker over there? Now, we had a discussion over the last few days about trading DeAndre Swift. A lot of people said, we just can't give away talent. And, you know, a lot of people didn't like it. I'm not here for you to like what I say. I'm here to give my honest opinion. I'm not going to hold back nothing. Maybe that stopped me from getting to a whole bunch of subs and whatever, but I'm willing to uh, to keep my integrity in, intact over money, which is pretty much a hard thing to do. But let's talk about it. You got Detroit Lions. So I'll play this year. Video subscribe to the channel. My, now, like I said about DeAndre Swift, I'm just saying you got a better running back ahead of him and Jamal Williams that he hold back. That's my thing. You can find another DeAndre Swift scat back, but – People treating Swift. Somebody said he's the top five player on our team. He's not a top five player. He's not better than Hawkins. He's not better than Ragnar. He's not better than Jamal Williams. He's not better than Amani Arroyo. Um, who else we got? He's not better than Jonah Jackson. Let's be real. Jonah Jackson, the unsung hero. But that is my humble opinion, right? Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, he can't trade him. Not, not, not the other But that's cool. But Taylor Decker is definitely a guy that can go because he can't play the right side, and I'm pretty sure we're not trying to um, switch um, Ragnar back to – I mean, not Ragnar, but we're not trying to switch to well back to right side. So obviously, get better left tackle than right tackle, right? And the Raiders have a, a need, if you look at their depth chart, they have a need for uh, – they have a need for – some offensive line help, and we can help them out, and they can we can help them out, and they can help us out. Look, look at the offensive line. Like I said, I don't know the offensive linemen like I were players like I used to know them, but if you look at they they depth chart, I don't know what pro football folks got to say. I'm just quote unquote, they supposed to be the expert. So I don't even know who Colton Miller is. All right, I swear to God, I don't know who Colton Miller is. And remember, they took Alex Leatherwood, so they got a right tackle. So he first round pick until 18. You know, I don't know what's his uh credentials, but right away, I don't know much about him. You can kick him to you can help your offensive line by bringing Decker in. You got pass blocking issues. Decker, good pass blocker. Put Decker at left tackle. We probably can move Colt Miller on the inside. You know, as Leatherwood, you know, what the good thing about Leatherwood with taking him is that excuse me, you can you can move him, you can keep him at right. You know, he's gonna get better, he's not gonna hold, but one thing about him. He's a freak athletically, and he can run block. So you allow him to be at his natural position to run block, and also he gives him some versatility. If Decker get hurt, you move him to the left. And all this is, you know, if Taylor Decker is healthy, okay, by the trade deadline, which I don't know when the trade deadline is, but like I said, you can move Cole Miller to the to the guard, or you can move him in the backup, or you can move him to right tackle, feeling like a Leatherwood doing so. Taylor Decker is somebody that's already under contract for you for years, and I think that you know with pass blocking issues, I think that they um, can use him. Now Richie Incognito, Incognito, I don't even know he still play. He on IR, but yeah, I think Decker at left tackle. You can move Mo Miller. I don't know much about him to right. You can move him on the inside. I think it works. Now, um, I don't know what will be the ramifications cap wise on us or, or the Raiders, but. The Raiders probably see opportunity, which they beat. They was the only team other than the pa not the Patriots, other than Tampa, to beat Kansas City last year, and they feel like they're pretty close. All right, so I think Decker will will protect you versus the Bosa's, the um, ooh, I mean, who all over there, the Von Millers, the Bradley Chubbs. I think it'd be a good pick for them. And like I said before, I'm willing to take a third or a combination of a fourth and fifth because, like I was saying about DeAndre Swift, people was like, "Well, you trade Swift? You're the only talent. He's not the only talent." We proved today statistically that Jamal Williams is better and also proved that you – I mean, it's also known in fact you can find a running back anywhere in the draft or outside the draft. You can find a running back undrafted. So, you know, for Jamal Williams to do what he needs to do, you know, basically you got to subject DeAndre Swift to a scat back, a third round back. That's what I was – to a third down back. That's what I was saying. Like, you could trade him and find you another back next year and fill your team out. Well, you know, I, if I get a third from third, it's probably my low. I'm probably thinking the third or combination of a fourth and fifth um, 
I'm probably really thinking a third as a minimum. And like I said before, it was just that just to let y'all know it, that Jamal Williams is way better than him. And it's a countdown to DeAndre Swift getting injured. You could package both of these dudes. You could sit and Swift somewhere in Decker. So you don't need Swift to win a football game. Did you, how many football games you win last year with Swift? How many games you win this year with Swift? That's what I'm saying. People are like, you need, like people say, oh, you need drumming. But we all in agreement that Taylor Decker is a guy that we need to probably move. And if there's a spot right here, you can put him at left, and I think the Raiders would be happy. And, you know, like I said, I'll take a third because the Lions going to have – but people don't know the Lions going to have, like, three compensatory picks from losing Kenny Galladay, um, from, I think, Trey Matthew Stafford. They lost a few guys. I don't know who they are other than Galladay, but I think they in the hunt to have uh, compensatory picks. And, um, um over the place so like i said before here if you don't believe me this is why i say you trade decker you phrase swift you can find another swift jacksonville found uh jerome robinson so they are projected and this can this is just a projection to have three contested compensatory picks now um they can have this is just a projection so they said detroit lions have not received a contemporary pick for net loss in free agents since 2017, that's certainly going to change 2022. But several prominent free agents signing elsewhere, New GM Brad, Holmes, all that stuff. According to the early projection over the cap, the Lions received three compensatory picks in 2020. One of those top compensatory picks, 97 in the third round, result to LA to the Giants. The compensatory formula, so um, over the tag, uh projects, they get the top compensatory pick with 97, also one fifth round and one sixth. So you got three additional picks right there with the with the – Rams first round pick, that's four. You know, if you trade Taylor Decker for a fourth or a third or fourth, that's five. You trade DeAndre Swift for a second or third, that's six. You already got a lead back in Jamal Williams. You can find somebody else late on draft to supplement him. He said, well, why would anybody give you anything for Swift? Well, like I said before, um, I think I think with uh with these, these teams trying to make a championship push. If they can't get Saquon Barkley, Odell Beckham, whatever it may be, I think they would. They you know as a trade deadline looms, they overpay for a guy like Taylor Decker. They overpay for a guy like DeAndre Swift. And you would have what I say: you get three, four, you get six picks if you trade Decker. Depends on what you trade Decker and Taylor, Taylor or Decker and Swift for. You get six additional draft picks plus the three compensatory projected. The one from the Rams, you get a pick for Taylor Decker. Let's say a third. Let's say going to uh, finesse Deck, uh, Swift for a second and third. That's six additional. That's six additional picks to whatever you got next year. So that that's my angle. You can rebuild the team. You don't have to rebuild with with DeAndre Swift. He's a he's a receiving back. He's his stat back. He's not Austin Neckley, not um, Christian McCaffrey, whatever. And then with Taylor Decker, you got who will, right? You no, know, he would say, well, where do you go from there? I guess you kick high tire right tackle. And right then and there, you got Jax. You got Regno eventually gonna come back. So right then and there, you got to find a guard. That's it. I can find with six additional picks. I can find a guard, you know. So then again, you don't have to spend a lot of money in free agency when all the dead money come off after this offseason. That's what I'm saying. You get six picks, you get younger, you get more talented. You got some couple good finds in Alfonso with Bobby Price and AJ Parker. So then with those six, those six additional picks, to whatever you got next year, linebacker, trade for more picks, trade for future picks. Now you like Miami and San Francisco. That's my that's my angle, you know, because mostly I don't know all this information. That's my angle. That's my angle for trading Swift. Six additional picks with him. That's my angle. Now, you get the linebacker, get the safety, trade down, get picks for the future. You're flexible. Everybody talking about with the Rams might go to Super Bowl. Well, with the 37 pick, like I said earlier in the live stream, that's an additional second round pick, but some of the some of the best picks to win the second round. Let's just look, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's so let's go 2019. Let's say 2018 draft, right? 2018 NFL draft. I'm gonna show y'all something, right? When you look at the second round, to ragging out a year. When you look at the second round, look at the 32nd pick in below, right? Can y'all see this? I went on the wrong tab. My bad. Glad I look. <laughs> can I see this? So when you're in the 30, when you here, 
Okay, depending, let's just say late first. Let's go, let's say 25th at the worst, right? Or 24th, right? Look at the, the players that went from 24 and below. DJ Moore, really, I'm to Rashad Penny. Remember, like, we wanted him. I wanted him. I don't lie. Uh, uh, let's see what happened to Rashad Penny. He's still on the Seahawks. He ain't did shit. Boy, a lot of people like Rashad Penny. See if we reload. So, you know, really, Mike Hughes is really good. He got some trouble, though. Lamar Jackson. I can't say no more. Nick Chubbs. Darius Leonard. Arnold Jones. He's not fumbling the ball. Here, Landry pretty good. Yep. Kyrian Johnson. Yep. So, you know, you got some good players going in the second round. Anthony Miller, who's a free agent. We'll talk about later. Uh, there you go. James Washington, DJ Shark, one with the line straight for. So, I mean, you keep going. Keep looking. Mm. Look. Josh Jacobs, pretty good. Brown, drop balls. DeAndre Montez, who I really want the line to go after him. Pretty good. DeAndre Baker got some trouble. He's pretty good when he got in trouble. Uh, Robert, Mo, Mo, uh, Robert Murphy, Debo Samuels, uh, Sean Murphy Bundy won the Super Bowl, Rudy Williams, a lot of people liked him, AJ Brown, Miles Sanders, uh, Andy Isabel, DK Metcalf. So, like I said before, some good picks below that. Pretty much we don't know about last year yet. We were 2020, two years ago. One of the pitch lines took uh y'all boy y'all cry so much for like Joe to see what's his name Jeff Okuda Caesar Ruiz doing pretty good over there Brandon you pretty good when you're not in trouble with, with the coach uh Clyde Everyone need fumbling Michael Pittman pretty good y'all boy Swift uh, and I like Swift is like I like him rocking for something I like Swift is Barry Sanders or some shit into on the field so it's some good players man I don't know how Grand Dale Pitt doing but that defense elite over there with uh then hurt that defense elite with uh with uh Cleveland. But hey, let me know what you guys think. Thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate the love and support. Check the trailer on top for more videos like this. Find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. If you got a business question, quality response, your video quest, all my social media in the description. Want to make a financial donation, cash app, CJ Good313, Venmo, CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description. Appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time, good for the sports. I mean, RC Sports Talk Peace.